Ghana Union of Traders Association meanwhile claims early victory following government's decision to suspend the implementation of the controversial benchmark value reversal, which was expected to kick on January uh, 4, 2022. Industry players, with the exception of AGI, have spoken strongly against the policy directive since it was announced on December 31. It is unclear what informed the sudden change, but in an interview with Joe News, an unimpressed Deputy Communications Director of Guta, Joseph Osei Ajiman, says government's decision to suspend the implementation is as a result of the pushback that has created the announcement of the policy. I mean, yes, but... It's not a good news to us because we want the whole thing reversed. And it's not like reversing it for a day or two that will help us. So we are still dialoguing that the whole thing should be reversed. The government brought it and it should take it away. Yes. But you also understand why government is introducing this particular policy? We understand, but the, the understanding is not that deep that we have to understand. Before we go to that understanding bit, what would you say has informed the decision to suspend it for at least a day? Is it your agitation or is it the chaos at the port yesterday? Or what exactly, from your opinion, I mean, I'm talking about Guta, informed this decision by the administration? It's both of them because um, we, we have been pressing that the whole thing should be reversed. And since yesterday, we have been talking about it on, on all uh, wavelengths to let, make it go. So I think that is. That is what I've pushed them to maybe reverse it until... Because yesterday, people had, were at the ports. They couldn't clear their goods because those who have done their papers uh, during the holidays went in to clear their goods because it was after the holiday. And they went there and they were not able to clear their goods. And I think that has informed them to maybe reverse it for one or two days. And that won't help anybody. They should take the whole thing from there. And we are, we, are, we are on it. We, we are talking to the government for them to suspend the whole thing. Do you see light at the end of that tunnel? We are dialoguing. So we, we, can't, we can't say positive that we, we see light or something. But since we are talking about it, we know it will work. But, but you know AGI is also making a strong case for this policy to come to pass. At least it will help in our ge uh, revenue generation and ex also expand the tax net, if you like. Don't you agree with AGI? Or you are on the other side where AGI is? No, AGI, uh, they're the people who are going to expand taxes for the government. AGI, are they the people who should uh, think of the taxes that government is going to get? Look, they should think of how they will work and get their businesses going. They are using obsolete machines the, the, due, uh, the interest rates that they are paying in Ghana is big. They can't compare themselves to any global country that is manufacturing the things that they are manufacturing. And if they leave them to manufacture, can they manufacture to the extent that they can serve the whole populace in Ghana? Because if you say they, they take rice, if you say they are producing rice, how many tons of rice can AGI produce? You will still have to import rice. And so if you say we should stop importing rice and let AGI uh, produce rice in Ghana, can they do it? What if, if we stop importing, they will increase the capacity to produce more? Why don't they increase it and see that they are self-sufficient before they come out to say that we should stop?